tooth brushing squats. You're not gonna hear that term anywhere else because yours relentless made that one up yesterday. Tooth brushing squats. You know how you have no time to do anything else? You know how it's like, well, I don't wanna add another thing. I don't have time to, to do my marketing. I don't have time to walk an hour. I don't have time. Uh, I got three kids, my wife, I don't have time. Well, I'm here to add something to your life. Basically, it won't cost you a second more of time and it can literally transform your mind and your body. So I've never shared this before, but I'm gonna share it with my video viewers and I'm gonna write about it in my newsletter. You can sign up for my monthly newsletter at badassletter.com. There's still a little bit of time. The immigration's still open. Badassletter.com. It's my monthly paper and ink newsletter. And uh, it's called uh, Toothbrushing Squats. So here's what I've done, and I've only done it uh, here in Naples over the last month, but it's had such a positive impact, I wanna share it with you. First of all, my entire concept as a pro hockey coach, an amateur hockey coach, a power skating coach and a tennis coach. I was a tennis pro for 11 years teaching other players uh, for money. So I've always had a philosophy that served me well and served my championship athletes and teams. The legs, legs feed the wolf. Legs feed the wolf. That's a writer downer in your journal or on a recipe card. Legs feed the wolf. So I look at you as a businessman, middle-aged, 45, 55, 65, 75 years old. You can be like my dad, you can be 89 years old. Legs feed the wolf. Where we live in Canada, we have, uh, we have packs of coyotes in the back field that you only hear at night. You never see them during the day. And we have packs of wolves at our other property. My parents own 300 acres about 10 minutes outside of town and there's packs of beautiful wolves and they hunt at night in packs and they can go for miles and miles and miles for days they hunt in packs as a team all you have to ever do is google uh wolf pack kills or anything like that and you can watch these magnificent animals super intelligent as they take down a deer or they take down a, a physically superior animal and how it's the most strategic thing you'll ever see in your life. But at the end of the day, for an athlete, for a businessman, for a husband, for a father, legs feed the wolf. If you come to one of my power skating classes at the arena, I work with my daughter's school when we're home every Tuesday, we're on the ice for an hour. I'm teaching these kids grade one to grade five how to skate, it's my power skating session. If you come to my Sunday hockey, I've got kids on the ice from age five to 14 and it's hockey and I'm teaching them how to skate and play the game of ice hockey. Here's the thing, a large part of every single practice is squatting. Yes, on skate squatting. I'm the only coach I've ever seen do it. And it all goes back to my principal belief that legs feed the wolf. Legs feed the wolf. And, it, and it's one of the reasons that I've won championships is because my teams physically and mentally can't be stopped. We're always in the best physical shape of any mental shape, mental discipline of any team, any league that I've ever coached in. We're like Pat Riley with the Lakers. He said, you know, we're gonna be the best conditioned team in the NBA, and they always were. Um, and that's how you win, right? So legs feed the wolf. But here's something you can do, and what that means is, by the way, is leg strength is everything. It's more important than arm strength. If you're not the type of man who's gonna go to the gym, you're having a hard time doing the Matt Fury Hindu squats that I do, you, you know, you don't have time to, you haven't been able to consistently walk, you haven't been able to consistently go um, to the fitness center, whatever your excuse is, I'm gonna give you something right now that can change so much for your life. Uh, physically and mentally. I believe in doing a difficult thing first thing in the morning. 
uh, believe in doing something that's, uh, good morning, hard and difficult first thing. I think that that builds what David Goggins talks about, mental calluses, mental and phil phil uh, physical calluses from doing something difficult first thing in the morning. He goes for a 90 minute run at 5.30 every morning. No days off, seven days a week. He hates running by the way, hates it. But he does the thing that he, he finds most difficult. He does it first thing every single morning. So this will help with your mental and physical. And I call it, I call it tooth brushing squats. So forget, forget Hindu squats. Forget, forget going to the gym for now. Forget walking, forget, you know, drinking water. Forget all that stuff if you're having a hard time. And I'm gonna get you to do one thing. And I did this, uh, I, I took one of those white recipe cards, those three by five index cards, and I wrote on it, um, tooth brushing squats. Okay, that's, I wrote it in Sharpie and I put it on the mirror, the bathroom mirror. Can you do that? Can you take a, sh a piece of paper, whatever it is, and write tooth brushing squats and just tape it to your bathroom mirror? I don't care if your wife thinks you're crazy, Krista thinks I'm from another planet. Doesn't matter, I got it right up there. So when I walk, when I wake up in the morning at six o'clock, 5.59, I come out and I say my prayers and then I get up and I stagger into the bathroom and I splash, I go to the washroom, bathroom, I, I pee and then I splash some water on my face and then it's time to brush my teeth before my morning walk. But when I get out of bed, I'm stiff, I'm sore, my back's tight, my shoulders are sometimes tight, my knees, my ankles, you know, my feet are a little bit sore. So what I started doing is something that Matt Fury recommended and he's, it's called a stationary Hindu squat. Stationary Hindu squat. And all it is is squatting down in front of the, uh, the bathroom counter, in front of the mirror, and just holding a squat for one minute. Two minutes, three minutes. I, I mean, I started with one minute. I found it hard. So what I do, I'm brushing my teeth anyways for two to three minutes. So what I do is I put the toothpaste on my brush and then I look in the mirror and I, I, I start brushing my teeth and I squat down, bare feet. I have nothing on but my, but my shorts and my t-shirt and I squat down in the catcher's position. I'm like a baseball catcher. Don't put your hands on your knees. Don't support yourself. Just go into the catcher's squat and hold it and brush your teeth for one minute. That's how I start it. One minute, not two, not three. And you're, you're in your bare feet and you hold that Hindu catcher squat. And you know, it's hard, right? You lose your balance, whatever, just keep into the squat. And I watch my watch and I do it for 60 seconds. And then, boom, when I'm done the 60 seconds, I stand up and I continue brushing my teeth for another one to two minutes. So I brush my teeth for three minutes, but I, I do the squat for the first minute. So do you see, like, it's so incredible because that stretches out my back, it stretches out my, my uh, ligaments, my muscles, it loosens up my joints, my knees, my ankles, all my feet, my feet feel so much better, my shoulders feel better, my posture is better. There is nothing better than a squat. So if you're not doing the Hindu squats, if you're not getting to the gym, if you're not walking, doing this one simple one minute squat, okay? When you're brushing your teeth, it's not adding one second to your day. You're standing there anyways, half in a fog. Brush your teeth and go into a catcher squat and time yourself for one minute. I do it for the whole time now, but I had a hard time just doing it for one minute because I'm tight. So I just, I brush my teeth and then boom, I go down into a squat like this and I do not hold anything else. I'm just brushing my teeth, boom, 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 boom. And I hold that for 60 seconds and it's difficult and it's hard and that's good. And then when I bounce back up, I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna do a minute five. Next day, I'm gonna do a minute 10. Next day, I'm gonna do a minute 20, minute 30, all the way to two minutes. And I'm gonna see if I can get to five minutes brushing my teeth every morning in the Hindu catcher squat. Man, when I come out to walk after, my legs feel incredible. My back feels better. 
Um, my, my flexibility is already improving. Um, my feet feel better because I do it in my bare feet. I cannot recommend this more than brushing your teeth, catcher squat, Hindu catcher squat. It does. It hasn't added a second to my day, but I like I, I bend down and pick a piece of paper up in the afternoon. My flexibility is so much better. If you have joint pain, if you have muscle pain, if you have back pain, if you have a shoulder pain, if you're suffering from headaches, if you're suffering from tension, if you've got sore feet, just try this 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 tribal tribal squat. Nothing else. No going to the gym. No having to you know walk ten thousand steps. Anything like that. Get up, splash some water in your face, brush your teeth, and squat down and hold it for sixty seconds, and then go in and put a red X on the calendar. If you don't have a calendar, go to Staples, go to Business Depot, and get a red calendar, and boom, you got it. Okay. Try that and let me know in the comments how you're doing. Brushing your teeth squats and then boom up on the Jerry Seinfeld calendar. I'm telling you right now, I've been doing it for almost a month and it's, been, it's made such a difference with all of the tension in my body. It's improving my flexibility. It's improving my mental health. It's improving my feet, my ankles, my knees, my joints, my back feels better. Uh, my head and shoulders feel better. My posture's better. Brushing your teeth, Hindu squats, just like a baseball catcher down for 60 seconds. And it's hard. It's hard when you get into a minute, two minutes, three minutes where I am. And I want to start, that's a nice little victory for you. To start your day, you're doing something that's mentally hard and something that's physically hard. So you've, you've got a quick little win to start your day. You got a quick little victory to start your day. You did something that's difficult and hard and you did it and you won. And then boom, another one and oh, two and oh, three and oh, four and oh, five and oh, seven and oh, 21 and oh, 30 and oh. Do it for 30 days brushing your teeth. Every time you brush your teeth, have that card up there, it reminds you, brush your teeth means squat. Brush your teeth means squatting. Brush your teeth means squatting. Need any help? Buy my book, nobullbook.com below, how to not get your ass kicked in business and life. Also, there's still a few hours left to subscribe to my March newsletter badassletter.com badassletter the links are below that's it i appreciate your comments i appreciate you subscribing to my channel two words that changed my life brushing your teeth and squatting who would have thought two words that changed my life be relentless